I want to discuss the two secret side deals uh, between the IAEA and Iran. I had to travel to Vienna last weekend to discover the existence of these side deals. The administration has now confirmed their existence. There is still some uh, lack of clarity about their content. Secretary Kerry, have you read either of these two side deals between the IAEA and Iran? Well, it looks like according to the people's sniffing dogs, Israel has paid this GOP senator a million dollars to sabotage the Iran Accord. Now, you remember back in March when 47 Republican senators and congressmen signed this love letter to Benjamin Netanyahu. Well, I think they were pretty stupid to think that they could do that and not have the NSA's sniffing dogs all up and down their telephone lines because that's where the information came from. Finally, someone has used that agency for the good of the people. Uh, it goes on to state here in this limited article that uh, he was bribed $1 million by Israel to try sabotaging the negotiations between Tehran and the world powers, including us, the United States. The name of Senator Tom Cotton from Arkansas, Republican. Side note, the irony of his name should not be lost on any of you. Tom Cotton picking Cotton. He merged on news outlets on Wednesday, okay, after a report revealed that Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu had bribed lawmakers of the Republican Party. Well, Cotton received $960,250 from the Emergency Committee for Israel which is a right-wing political advocacy organization based here in the United States for his senatorial campaign. As the negotiations were continuing in March 2015, the freshman senator spearheaded this open letter signed by 47 Republican lawmakers to warn Iran that a GOP president would not remain committed to any agreement with Tehran. Quote, I'm pretty sure Bill Crystal, the owner of the Emergency Committee for Israel, did write this letter. End quote. American geopolitical commentator Dean Henderson told Press TV at the time. Y'all know who Bill Crystal is, don't you? Bill Crystal also owns this emergency committee for Israel and he has been notorious for backing Israel. He's a leading proponent of US military intervention in Muslim countries including the invasion of Iraq and Afghanistan. Last July Tom Cotton picking Cotton likened the nuclear agreement to crucifixion of Jesus Christ and U.S. top negotiator, Secretary of State John Kerry, to Pontius Pilate, who let it happen. Quote, I will stand with Prime Minister Netanyahu and Israel and work with my colleagues in Congress to stop this deal, Cotton said during a visit to Israel later. You know, despite such attempts, Iran and the world powers, which also included the United Kingdom, Germany, Russia, China, and France reached a nuclear accord in June of 2014, dubbed the 
Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, which some of you know that I have called it the Nobel Peace Plan. Wiretaps Uncovered by, guess who, the Wall Street Journal recently revealed that the Israeli premier had asked the Republicans what they wanted in exchange for opposition against the JCPOA. Stepped-up NSA eavesdropping. You know, they did also uh, stump to keep the NSA eavesdropping program in place. Well, that backfired. The eavesdropping has revealed to the White House how Mr. Netanyahu and his advisors had leaked details of the U.S.-Iran negotiations, learned through Israeli spying operations to undermine the talks, coordinated talking points with Jewish American groups against the deal, and asked undecided lawmakers what it would take to win their votes, according to current and former officials familiar with the intercepts, read a Wall Street Journal report. So, Tom Cotton has a lot of nerve talking and asking questions, accusing others of side deals, doesn't he? This has been Me the People. Break this news.